oh, Tim Martin, the guy from Weatherspoons, has gotten a bit of hot bother because he told his staff to go and work at Tesco, which I don't really have a problem with, really. Um, I'll quickly read this article for you. So this is from the Evening Post. Weatherspoons founder Tim Martin has told staff who might not be paid during the lockdown to go work at Tesco's. This got again. This got a lot of negative reaction online. I don't know why. Maybe again because I don't know much about this Tim Martin guy. He might have said stuff in the past or might align himself with people who are quite unsavory or people who you know the general British public has deemed to be um, a risk or problematic, quote unquote. But just in isolation, I don't necessarily see a real problem with it. Like you know, he's a private business owner. If he decides he doesn't want to furlough his staff who you know work in these pubs, then so be it. He probably thinks they're quite interchangeable, which they probably are. Um, they don't probably treat them well anyway in the first place so why you'd want to be furloughed by that place anyway is not really you know for me to answer but if it's your job it's your job um but let's read the article it says here webspin found that tim martin has been widely criticized after he told employees of the popular pub chain to go work at tesco's while pubs are closed warning them that they could face delays over pay webspin shut all those pubs on friday morning right this is what when day was that 24th of march so last month on uh, Friday morning for the introduction of the social distancing measures from the government. In the video message to Everspoon's 4, 40,000 employees, Mr. Martin hinted that he could find employment at supermarkets while their measure was in place. Though Mr. Martin claimed that the staff would be would be paid for work carried out until the pubs were closed last Friday, the company would not be paying staff any more until the UK government fulfills the promise to cover the wages the staff affected. So that was that's fine. I think the whole furlough thing was that they were going to cover 8% of the wages for most companies. But I think then it got realised that, you know, it's going to be a delayed payment. So the companies will have to front that cash first and then the government will give you it um, later on down the line, which is OK. But I think at that moment in time, it wasn't even agreed that that was going to be the case. So the only problem I have with these sort of things or these sort of articles, because most reason why they're writing because they want to, you know, pay him in a bad light is that if you don't agree with the guy's politics or you think he's a bit of a disgusting human being i think the best way to treat the best way to kind of protest it especially someone who kind of aligns himself a lot of his business right he is mr weatherspoon when you open the menu he's fucking in it sometimes depending on which one you go to especially the, the fucking magazine they have in store that's horrendous so he's part of it he you know he wants you to know his face and how he speaks and shit he's always on um panel discussion shows and here in the uk if you don't like the guy just don't go to his pub in it and you completely cut him on your knees like that's it you've could protest you've made it loud and clear that you don't run run for that but unfortunately most or unfortunately for unfortunately for people that don't like him unfortunately for his bank account most of the country you know likes the, the pub chains that he's built you know they charge really low prices the food is fucking dog shit but if you don't mind it you don't pay that much you get to sit sit down with an un, you know it's, there's no sense of feeling like you don't fit in in the Weatherspoons. Everyone you go to, it feels like it's you know a local um, quick service for the most part. <clears throat> they all take card. I understand why people decide to go, but I think again, if you want to protest, just don't go there yourself in it. And I think there's actual video of it of him talking about it. But let's see if I can get the video. I'm actually saying what he said, but I actually don't see the issue in it personally myself. Let's see if we can pass out what the problem might have been here <laughs> this is from twitter from a lady called rachel swindon let's see here what are you saying joined and that's half the number of people who work in our pub if i'm being honest i say you can you can get the furlough payments and stay at home if you're offered a job at a supermarket many of you will want to do that if you think it's a good idea do it I can completely understand it. If you've worked for us before, which I don't think is a bad thing, isn't it? Really, he's telling people once if they want to get furloughed, they can. But if they're not willing, because if they're not willing to wait it out, go somewhere else where they might pay you. Because again, there's no guarantees that these people on furlough once they go back to work will have a job waiting for them either. They, they might reach a point where the company just runs out of cash or they might not be able to continue with that role or they might want to consolidate things there's no it might be a bit more difficult in you know today's employment laws um once you pass your probation it's quite difficult to get somebody out of a company don't get me wrong i don't stand that the hesitation is probably there but if you're signed if you're if you're not signed those kind of contracts you have to be a bit worried and if you're an independent contractor you might be best your best bet might be to go somewhere where you be you know standard wage for a couple of months and then this to make some changes after the fact but i don't necessarily see a real issue with that or really before i promise you we'll give you first preference if you want to come back and 
we're all obviously oh, well, that's good. understand that you don't want to wait around for us to reopen. But deeply appreciate your work. Uh, I've just so much enjoyed talking to you in my pub calls uh, over the weeks. Again, I don't see the issue with it personally. He was quite upfront and honest. Um, he wasn't going to pay anyone because I think people were calling. Again, this is a weird thing. This happens a lot with the charity, isn't it? Like, you hear a celebrity X gives money to charity, and suddenly everyone's kind of getting in their pockets and asking them, Oh, this is only 10% of your, of your net worth, though. Most of the people saying it, though, don't have, a, you know, don't have more than a grand to their name in savings. Imagine if somebody told you to give that grand to somebody or to a charity or to somebody more in need. How weird their face will start you know moving like oh, what you want me to give that all of it to that person right you wouldn't do that so imagine just having that amount of wealth that amount of power that amount of influence and deciding at the goodness of your heart to take some of that money and give it to a good cause even if the even if you do even if your intentions are um are ultimately quite selfish right i don't necessarily do you care now like especially you know i've heard you know that in some regions of sicily the mafia has taken over or taken control and they're the ones that are supplying the local neighborhood with food and providing people with jobs and security and all that sort of shit right um would you care if you're a family in sicily right where your next meal is coming from if it's from the mob or it's from the government would you give a shit the fact that you've been fed and your kids have clothes on their back and your hot water's running you wouldn't care would you so I think people who get on their moral high horse now about this sort of stuff with celebrities giving money and saying it's not enough is it's just ridiculous really. We should be grateful they're getting given anything considering the circumstances, right? Usually it's the government's point. Like this isn't a celebrity's problem. It shouldn't be their job to bail us out or to provide you with, you know, solutions. It should be the people that you elect into these positions they're the ones that you know the ones that collect your taxpayer dollars or taxpayer pounds they're the ones that should be uh, providing some solutions but they're not and again like i think like i said like he's a private business owner if he decides he doesn't want to you know cover his stuff you know out of his own pocket for a certain amount of time then it is what it is um i'm sure it's probably changed since he's agreed with a furlough thing but i didn't see a problem with it and again like i said i think if you work for somebody like him or a my cashier sports i you know exactly who these people are you can't necessarily then turn around and be surprised they don't bother to raise you know what I mean they've kind of told you what their politics are from the very beginning so just kind of you know it is what it is